Okay, I know y'all probably saying, A. Marie, what the heck is that? Well, actually, what you see, I actually took some virgin hair and I used a hot glue gun and I glue gunned it to this dome cap. And it's glued to the dome cap. And I also lighten it with some developer, 40 developer and bleaching powder. So now what you see at the top, the duct tape is to protect the lace because I cut out a horseshoe to do the lace. So now what you see me doing, I'm taking the Manic Panic. And what I want to create is a teal green. I was following this lady off of YouTube and I just fell in love with it. So if I can get it open. So that's kind of what you see me guys doing, trying to create the teal green so i'm trying to get the manic panic open i should have been prepared right <laughs> so that's what i'm doing getting the manic panic open so once i get it open i'm gonna pour it into the bowl pour it down into the bowl if i can get it open right <laughs> so now i'm pouring it off into the bowl I'm pouring it into the bowl and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my green and that is by the uh, the argan oil so I'm gonna get the green it's like a dark green I'm gonna open that I'm going to put it in there so I'm getting it prepared putting it in you think I'd have been more prepared guys right so I'm kind of scared to do coloring because I'm not a licensed cosmetology. Look at Gino sniffing around. <laughs> he wants to sniff around. He had actually took the manic panic a little earlier. So I really don't do a lot of these videos, guys, because I'm not a licensed cosmetologist and I'm really scared to play around with color. But it's my hair, my money. So if I make an error, I guess I can just live with it, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to live with it. So there I go, mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. It's going to make a very pretty color, teal green. Look at the green, guys. Very beautiful. So now I'm also going in with another color blue that I got from Sally's, which is a 15-minute color from Sally's. So now what you see me doing is I'm mixing that. That's a developer that I'm putting in there. And now I'm going to go in with the blue color. So it's a package powder color. So I just wanted to kind of mix, you know, green and blues together to get a very color, green, blue, teal color. So I'm mixing that together, guys. Mixing it together. Mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. Come on, girl. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. So I'm mixing it up. See the color? Very beautiful color. Very beautiful color. I, I should have had my gloves ready, right? I didn't have the gloves ready. So I started thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to get green all over my hands and stuff. So I'm getting it prepared and it is ready to go. So have a look at it. Okay, guys. So now what you see me doing I'm actually starting to put the color in there so I got my gloves ready and I'm putting it in there so that's the green manic panic and that's the uh, argan oil dark greens so no it's blue manic panic so these are semi-permanent rinse because it's kind of hard when you're not licensed to get your hands on some very good permanent color you definitely have, have to be a licensed cosmetologist so guys like I said I lifted this hair previously so that's why the hair is lifted and I kind of left the back kind of sort of still with the dark color because I kind of wanted it to blend in from a the green to the kind of like a, a, a dark uh, well the hair was a number two but I left the color on there if you see the ends it's kind of like a four so now what you see me doing is just pretty much uh, getting it prepared, just patting that color all down in there, patting it in there, just getting it prepared, guys. 
So if I'm lucky, it'll come out beautiful. If not, you know, I probably will have to go in there again and, you know, do it all over again. So, yeah, that's what you see me doing, just patting that color down in there, guys. Just getting it all in there. So, and it's better to get the color all in between the hair and different stuff like that. So, definitely take your time. And the point, guys, I cut the middle out and I added my Swiss lace because um, you guys know I ventilate. So, I'm not going to put a closure in there. I'm going to create my own closure and at the top part, that part is going to be all black. I'm not going to um, put any coloring in it. So the point in putting the tape up there, I thought that the tape would protect the lace. But I hear, I heard that if you put Pam cooking spray on your lace before you color, it will not dye the lace. So I didn't ever try that, but maybe I should have did it because... When I'm looking at the tape and the lace, it still bleeded through the lace. So I still kind of sort of turned my lace green. Hmm? So trying to avoid it and wind up turning it anyway. So if I'm lucky, guys, this will come out beautiful, a dark green, teal, blue color. So that's what I'm trying to create when I do this. And like I said at the top. Where the tape is that's what i'm going to ventilate that is my swiss lace that has already been sewn to the dome cap so that's what i'm going to be creating i'm trying guys to learn a lot of different colors and different stuff like that i wouldn't say that i will be comfortable or confident to do this for a customer because again i'm not licensed to do coloring so i'll make a wig confident to do that but i will not ever really play around with color because it's like a hit or miss so this is me doing a trial and error for myself so if I make a mistake you know I guess I can live with it but I wouldn't be comfortable or confident to do that to a paying customer so no I would never try this for a paying customer I I don't have the confidence to do that you know you guys pay a lot of money for your hair and to guess um, what color I might come up with I wouldn't be willing to take that risk so this is like a DIY a DIY you know uh, for those people that's willing to take the risk and uh, hope to get a good result so that's kind of what I'm doing I'm taking a risk right here hoping that I get the teal green from one of my favorite youtubers that I follow and she even stated that she did not do that color herself she sent it off to a professional to have it done so as you see I'm just petting that color off in there petting it off in there trying to get in between there really really good trying to get it as good as I can get guys so just petting it on there petting it on there trying to get that color up in there petting it more 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 hopefully I uh, get it good so just continuously repeat and repeat and repeat and trying to smooth it to go in between the layers to get down because when you move the hair you can see some of the brown color so I'm trying my best to get in between there so that once I rinse the color out I don't wind up having the yellowish coloring and different stuff like that so now I flipped it over and trying to do the back of the wig. And so when the wind blow back down the sides, you will see more of the teal green. And again, I repeat the tape at the top. That is going to be all black where I'm going to use probably a color number one to finish the top part of my wig. But I just wanted to play around and try some color. And yes, this method was done with the hot glue gun and a dome cap a really fast method i've been um following a couple trends on youtube and this is a fast quick alternative something that i can do really fast so i've been you know following a trend and doing that so now you just see me patting the color patting the color and different things like that so i'm going to continue to complete to put all the color on there into the hair it's fully saturated into that uh blue and green color 
and then basically the next thing is let it sit so normally when I let it sit I got a tip from a hairstylist she told me to take a hot blow dryer and heat it up and that can kind of make the color take a little bit faster to the hair and different stuff like that so you're just gonna see me pat 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 and this is probably the longest process trying to get the color to go all down in there so that's what I'm doing patting 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 trying to get that color in there flipping it over to make sure so that's pretty much what you see me doing trying to get that color off in there this is the very hard part pat 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 get that color in there so that's what I'm trying to do guys get the color off in there So I'm putting more at the top, adding more at the top, adding more at the top, patting it down in there. And I'm using a paintbrush, guys. I do have a highlighting brush, but I just like the paintbrush, so I'm using a paintbrush. So I'm just rubbing the color through there rubbing it through there and basically I'm gonna let it sit in that plastic for a couple hours put a little heat on it and come back and rinse it out so stay tuned okay guys unfortunately I did it and I'm gonna go through it again on camera it looks blue but it is really a greenish color, but on camera it's picking up as a blue. So I'm gonna go over it again. And tomorrow I have a backdrop. I'm showing you guys the top where the lace is. Actually, a little bit of the uh, paint did, a little bit of the dye did get on to the lace. So up at the top, that's where I'm going to ventilate. If you guys can see, I turned it a little blue on the corners. So hopefully it don't affect my parting. The back didn't really take it all. But it's showing up blue, but it really is a greenish color. But the camera is picking up blue. So tomorrow we'll have a backdrop in a different light. And I'll try to, when I'm done with it, reload it. Don't know. But check out my other wig, my storm wig, guys. Yes, this is with the hot glue gun, and that is black and silver, guys. Black and silver with the part right there. So I vented right there, cut out a little three by three vented, so it's more like a permanent part right there in the dome cap with the hot glue gun. So guys, I'm trying a lot of these wow, funky colors, but yeah, it's very full with the hot glue gun. I'm gonna take it off and show it to you guys. So have a look in the inside. Have a look in the inside. Let's take a look at it. That's the inside with the hot glue gun. You guys can see. And then I am flipping it over, getting the tangles out, very full. And I put that little bit of Swiss lace right there, three by three and I vent it and put a little edge control, a little edge control on that parting to hold that part in place, guys. 